we have another replica guitar to unbox. Welcome back to The Mix. I'm ABD. Today, we have another guitar to unbox, a replica from China, but it is not a Gibson. There's a few reasons for that, which we will get into in another video. But today, we have a another brand that starts with G. We've talked about on the channel before the infamous yellow tape that surrounds these boxes when you get a guitar from somewhere like AliExpress, but I have not seen before this. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's a whole bunch of stamps on there, Chinese stamps, like a whole lot. That's really cool. How can I get rid of that? I'm gonna have to like cut that out and hang it up or something. That's too cool. This order was pretty peculiar anyways, that it came from USPS and uh, China Post, which is like the Chinese USPS. Usually it will ship with EMS and it's usually delivered by UPS, but it was a little different this time. The guitar is a little different too. It's a very large box, very thick boy. And um, instead of it being like two pieces of styrofoam that are sandwiched together, it's kind of like a bread bowl, if you will, where the inside has been scooped out and we have a little door on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to cut that out, cut it out and get the guitar out. And then we will get a first look and a first sound check. So get excited. Smooth like butter, like a criminal undercover. Make it boogie like. Anyone a seal fan? My power, my pleasure, my pain. Okay, I did it. I did it. I did it through the power of seal. This guitar was built in the last month or two because I ordered it and they sold the ones that they had made, so they had to make more. And so I waited about two months and the guitar has finally arrived. Another brand that starts with G. I can stop talking and singing and being a pain in the ass now. Let's look at the guitar. Why don't we? Excuse me. Pardon me, I had chili. There uh, is a bunch of styrofoam bits all over to kind of keep it safe. I'm not complaining. Maybe I'm complaining a little bit because it gets all over the room. Okay, styrofoam evacuated. We did not get a cable. Disappointing. Uh, I'm kind of just kidding. I have enough cables, but usually you get a cable. Oh, no. Cable. Allen key, tiny Allen key, knob tips. Oh God, and it's wet. What could that possibly be? Just water? Oh God. <laughs> Give me a moment. Give me a moment, thank you very much. Sanitize. Sanitize my hands. Oh my god. Oh sweet Jesus. We are sanitized. Not really sure why that was wet. Not a big fan of that. Condensation, maybe. We're gonna go with the condensation. It didn't smell like anything, but it was wet. Okay. Guitar time. Guitar time. Ooh. Okay, you're going to start to see, get a glimpse of what the guitar is. Let me get this gigantic box with all the stamps on it. Here's the guitar. Now the moment you've all been waiting for. Your first look. Rubber band. Eh. Be gone. 
All right. That took a minute, but we have arrived. We have arrived. <sighs> A Gretsch White Falcon. Again, it is a replica. It is not real made in America that is a lie. It was made in China. You can see the, oh, actually, <laughs> they covered the name on the headstock with Jingpin. Jingpin. We can take that off easily. It is just a sticker and, uh, Gretch. Not a real Gretch. You have the horns up here are a little too short. Not the right shape. And obviously, well, that's a shame. Big hair in the finish right there. Um, obviously, the knobs are not Gretch. Usually they have the G logo on there. And I am noticing a few um, finish imperfections, like on the binding back here, on the... Actually, the nut looks pretty good. It's all gold binding, like almost gold flake binding. And for the most part, the finish is pretty well done, pretty clean. There's really just one spot up here where there's some dust or something. You have a little droplet right there, uh, overspray from the paint. You do not see that very often. The binding there is a little sloppy right there as well. The pickguard is a gold mirror pickguard. I think it looks pretty great. More imperfection on the back there with the finish. So the finish is not the cleanest thing. It's like a milky white finish is how they had it listed on AliExpress. And uh, it's like an aged white type antique white. And you have a, dare I say, fake Bigsby on the bottom there too. Um, it does say Bigsby on it. It is a lie. You could tell that it's not a Bigsby. It is lighter than a Bigsby. The gold plating is not the right color. And I think the Bigsby logo is on a different angle. And it has a covering over it that I took off there. The bridge here, I don't know if it's free floating. It feels like it might be free floating. Then you have a single coil pickup there. And it's also a stereo guitar, I believe. Um, I don't really know how they have it wired up. I don't know which version of the White Falcon has that type of wiring, which you can actually see right there. Let's move that out of the way. Some residue on the pit guard. Clean that off. There's no plastic cover on the pit guard. There's a little bit of damage on the bottom of the pit guard there. It is just plastic and is not metal or anything like that. The Bigsby arm here feels a little, uh, loose. And, um... It seems to operate okay. The pots, because there's way, so many of them. There's one, two, three, four, five. Um, they feel like mini pots, and I can see actually that they are mini pots. And that's okay. They feel okay to turn. And then you have these fake Filtertron pickups in there, which will take the plastic cover off. Okay, well. So that looks better. I don't know what wood this is made out of. If I look and I feel, maybe base wood? Maybe? Um, the fingerboard looks like it's rosewood, but it is dyed, a dyed rosewood. It has the um, half circle inlays, like a Gretsch usually would. It has very low action, the bridge, Actually feels like good quality. Can't really complain about that. It looks pretty good too. And uh, what else can we say? Again, the finish is pretty good. We have this very cool truss rod cover up here actually that has plastic on it as well that we can take off plastic on everything. Oh, we have a little bit of a crack in the truss rod cover. That's okay, that's okay. We also, up here it says the Chet Atkins Country Gentleman. So I guess that's actually what this guitar is, is the Chet Atkins Country Gentleman. And that has a cover on it too, so let's take that off. That looks really good too. Then we have for the tuning machines that antique type shape, and then for the nut is very much plastic, 
but it looks but okay. We'll see how it is. The uh, the frets are not that tiny. They're maybe medium, jumbo, something like that. And um, let's tune it up and very quickly hear how it sounds. These pickups already sound good to me. I don't know which one were. It is a semi-hollow body. It has a block down the middle. It was almost in tune. It was tuned down about a, about a step. These, these strings are terrible, as usual. I think we're using the Filtertron pickups. I don't know what this knob does. Let's turn it down. So that's volume of some kind. What do these do? Is this tone? No idea. What about this one? Couldn't tell you. How about this one? It's already out of tune. We are going to change the tuners and maybe the pickups. Changing the pots would not be easy. Let's try the other input. See what that does. Well, I have no idea what any of the knobs or switches do, but if we add a tube screamer, here's what you get. I think the radius of the fretboard is 16 or 14. If we had a rat distortion, we get this. Whammy's not terrible, the, the fake Bigsby. So there is some sort of rattling happening in one of the pickups. It'll need to be fixed. And uh, the strings, like I said, are very bad. The frets are pretty smooth. The edges of the frets are pretty smooth until you get up here. Maybe there's a couple that are a little sharp. The neck is a C-shaped neck. It is pretty thick, kind of vintage. And um, the electronics are not great. The pickups are not terrible. I have no idea what I'm doing with any of the knobs or how to control it. The finish definitely has some imperfections. There's a drip, um, kind of bubble. There's a hair or dust or something that got in here and some of the binding has some issues with it, but that is okay. The, uh, the bridge definitely rocks back and forth a little bit, and I don't know how much of that it should be doing. So the whammy is not super great. So, sounds pretty good. Um, what do you think? We're gonna do a part two, upgrading it, making it better. And uh, if you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe, like, all that good stuff. Thank you for watching, and until next time, play guitar and be awesome. <laughs>
Ah, Jesus. Everything's all messed up now. Oh, okay. Why do you gotta do this? Why do you gotta do that? Why do you gotta... Obviously, the knobs... Obviously, the knobs are not... Obviously, the knobs... I don't know which version of the gold or I'm uh, the white bubba. I don't know what. I don't know what. Do 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 do.